Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. In this lecture video, I shall discuss about the nucleic acid. Hope this lecture video will be helpful for you all to understand the chemistry of nucleic acid. Nucleic acids are linear polymers that consist of monomers called nucleotides. Each nucleotide carries a pentose sugar, a nitrogenous base, and a phosphate group. There are two types of nucleic acids in nature, deoxyribonucleic acid that is DNA and ribonucleic acids that is RNA. DNA contains the deoxyribose sugar and typically exists in a double helix form that is two strands of DNA holding together in helical shape. RNA molecule contain the ribose sugar and exist predominantly as a single strand molecules. DNA functions to store the genetic information and keep it readily accessible to the cell and pass down genetic information to offspring during reproduction. RNA on the other hand transcribes the genetic information into a form that is easy to understand and read by the cell and assist in protein synthesis. Role of nucleotides Nucleotides consisting of a pentose sugar, a nitrogenous base and a phosphate group. They serve as monomeric units of the nucleic acid polymers, deoxyribonucleic acid that is DNA and ribonucleic acid that is RNA. Both of which are essential biomolecules within all life forms on earth. Nucleotides particularly an adenine base containing nucleotide ATP that is adenosine triphosphate is commonly referred to as the energy currency of the cell as it provides readily releasable energy in the bond between the second and third phosphate groups. Another nucleotide GTP that is guanosine triphosphate, a guanine base containing nucleotide also serves as an energy source for a more select group of biological processes. In the next slide, I shall discuss in details how the nucleotide ATP serve as energy currency in cellular metabolism. Like other organic cofactor molecules, nucleotides also act as allosteric effectors. Nucleotides bind with many protein molecules in our body in the allosteric or regulatory site of that protein, which resulting in the conformational change of that protein. After that conformational change, specific substrate molecules can bind in the active side of that protein. These conformational changes usually enhance the protein's activity, which is known as allosteric effect. Several nucleotides act as enzyme cofactor or coenzymes. They act with enzymes to speed up biochemical reactions. Examples of nucleotide coenzymes are nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide that is NAD+, nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate that is NADP+, and flavin adenine dinucleotide that is FAD. These three coenzymes are involved in oxidation or hydrogen transfer. I already discussed about the role of enzyme cofactors or coenzymes in my lecture video on enzyme. In the next slide, I shall discuss in details how the nucleotide NAD acts as coenzyme in biochemical reaction. To understand the chemistry of nucleic acid, First, you have to understand the chemistry of nucleotide. A nucleotide is the basic building block of nucleic acids, that is DNA and RNA. 
nucleotides are composed of three characteristic components a 5 carbon containing pentose sugar a nitrogenous base and a phosphate group which is consisting of 1 to 3 phosphates usually the nitrogenous base linked to the 1 prime carbon and the phosphate group attached to the 5 prime carbon of the pentose sugar to form a nucleotide Nucleic acids are linear polymers that consist of monomers called nucleotide. Nucleotides consist of the components such as the nitrogenous base, sugar and a phosphate group while the nucleosides contain only sugar and a base. If you remove the phosphate group from nucleotide then you will get nucleoside. The nucleotide forms the basic structure of RNA and DNA while the nucleoside occurs before the nucleotide itself. Nucleosides are usually obtained by chemical or enzymatic decomposition of nucleic acids. Nucleosides can be produced from nucleotides, particularly in the liver, but they are more abundantly supplied by ingestion and digestion of nucleic acids in the diet, whereby nucleotidases break down nucleotides into nucleosides and phosphate. The nucleosides in turn are subsequently broken down in the lumen of the digestive system by nucleosidases into nucleobases and pentose sugar ribose or deoxyribose. In addition, nucleotides can be broken down inside the cell into nitrogenous bases and ribose 1-phosphate or deoxyribose 1-phosphate. Adenosine triphosphate, that is ATP, energy-carrying molecule found in the cells of all living things. ATP captures chemical energy obtained from the breakdown of food molecules and releases it to fuel other cellular processes. Cells require chemical energy for three general types of tasks. To drive metabolic reactions that would not occur automatically, to transport needed substances across membranes, and to do mechanical work such as moving muscles. ATP is not a storage molecule for chemical energy. That is the job of carbohydrates such as glycogen and fats. When energy is needed by the cell, it is converted from storage molecules into ATP. ATP then serves as a shuttle delivering energy to places within the cell where energy consuming activities are taking place. ATP is a nucleotide that consists of three main structures, the nitrogenous base, adenine, the pentose sugar, ribose, and a chain of three phosphate groups bound to ribose. The phosphate tail of ATP is the actual power source which the cell taps. Available energy is contained in the bonds between the phosphates and is released when they are broken. Usually, the outer phosphate is removed from ATP to yield energy. Because of the presence of unstable high energy bonds in ATP, the enzymatic removal of a phosphate group from ATP to form ADP releases a huge amount of energy which is used by the cell in several metabolic processes as well as in the synthesis of macromolecules such as proteins. The removal of a second phosphate group from ATP results in further energy releases and the formation of adenosine monophosphate that is AMP. Protein phosphorylation is a reversible post-translational modification of proteins in which an amino acid residue 
most commonly serine, threonine, and tyrosine, who has a terminal hydroxyl group in the side chain, is phosphorylated by a protein kinase by the addition of a covalently bound phosphate group. The enzymatic removal of a phosphate group from ATP is used to phosphorylate protein. 50 kJ per mole energy is, is released from ATP during protein phosphorylation is also used by the cell in several metabolic processes. Phosphorylation alters the structural conformation of a protein causing it to become activated, deactivated or modifying its function. Approximately 13,000 human proteins have sites that are phosphorylated. When energy is not needed by the organism, the phosphate group is added back to AMP and ADP to form ATP. This can be hydrolyzed later as per required. Thus, ATP functions as a reliable energy source for cellular pathways. Nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, that is NAD, is a coenzyme central to metabolism. Found in all living cells, NAD is called a dinucleotide because it consists of two nucleotides joined through their phosphate groups. One nucleotide contains an adenine nucleobase and the other nucleotide contains nicotinamide. NAD exists in two forms, oxidized and reduced form, abbreviated as NAD plus and NADH respectively. In metabolism, nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide is involved in redox reactions carrying electrons from one reaction to another. Here we can see some reactions where NAD plus acts as coenzyme for dehydrogenase enzymes. The active side of NAD plus coenzyme is the nicotinamide and the nitrogen of the NAD plus is positively charged. Due to the pi electron delocalization, the positive charge of nitrogen moves to carbon-4 of nicotinamide and after that carbon-4 accepts electron from the substrate molecule to assist the enzyme for the completion of the reaction. The cofactor is therefore found in two forms in the cell. NAD plus is an oxidizing agent. It accepts electrons from other molecules and becomes reduced. This reaction forms NADH, which can then be used as a reducing agent to donate electrons. These electron transfer reactions are the main function of NAD. However, it is also used in other cellular processes, most notably as a substrate for enzymes in adding or removing chemical groups to or from respectively, such as proteins in post-translational modifications. NAD function as coenzyme in large number of dehydrogenase enzymes and carry out hydrogen transfer reaction. For example, alcohol dehydrogenase enzymes catalyze the reversible oxidation of alcohols to the corresponding aldehydes. The mechanism typically involves hydride transfer and NAD plus acts here as coenzyme. The active site of the enzyme accepts proton from the alcohol and the hydride ion accepted by NAD plus and NAD plus will be converted to NADH. Thus, NAD plus coenzyme assists dehydrogenase enzyme for completion of the reaction. 
The nicotinamide component of these coenzymes serve as the transient intermediate carrier of a hydride ion that is enzymatically removed from a substrate molecule by the action of certain dehydrogenases. Some NAD plus is converted into the coenzyme nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate NADP plus that is an extra phosphate group in the 2' carbon of the ribose sugar of that nucleotide of NAD plus which contains adenine nucleobase. NADP plus chemistry largely parallels to that of NAD plus though predominantly its role is as a cofactor in anabolic metabolism. That's all for today. Hope all of you enjoyed my lecture video. If you like my lecture video, then don't forget to click the like button. You can also share my lecture videos to your friends and can also put your comments. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Your subscription will encourage me to make more lecture videos for you all. Thank you.